good morning, super cool party people. That is too much energy. I don't know where that came from. Anyways, I am back at work. And good news, this doesn't hurt so much, but I am starting to build some little pectoral muscles, so control me. Um, I don't know where this energy is coming from because I woke up this morning and I was like, eh, do I really have to go to work today? And because there was a small thing that I didn't do yesterday and I didn't do the day before that needs to be done for tonight, I had to come to work, which was kind of sad. And I was like, oh, but I'm off tomorrow. But I'm not. I work tomorrow too. Ugh, this is like almost full-time job situation is not working for me. Today is the first day that I woke up in the last couple and wasn't immediately like, I want to write when I woke up. And I... I don't think that's an indication of I don't want to write anymore um, and I'm sick of the story. In contrast, I'm like so jazzed for this story right now that I packed my laptop with me, even though I am so tired that I was like, nap after work. And in good news, I haven't thought of my fan fiction for like days. Well, I mean, I thought of it, but I haven't thought to work on it. So I think that's a good thing. Maybe we're past that now that we've got to the... I don't even want to say more exciting stuff, but the stuff that's a little bit easier to write. I actually, I read somebody's blog post yesterday where they were talking about how they were revising their story and it was so boring and they didn't know if they wanted to keep writing it and like maybe they should find beta readers but the beta readers would never get through it because it was boring and if the beta readers read it then they'll never want to finish writing it, revising it, blah blah blah. And it made me think, well, I mean, I know this, whatever is going on in your head that's not related to your story, if you're tired, if you're hungry, if you're grumpy, if you're bored, it's going to come across in your story. Man, is it going to come across. Like last night, I was talking about how it's been a struggle. I think that was in my yesterday's vlog. I was talking, maybe that was in my blog. I don't know. Anyways, I was talking about how it's been a struggle to write what I've been writing. It's getting better now for sure, but there were days where it was like, peck, 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 this is terrible. Not even so much that, like the story's terrible, just my existence in writing it was terrible. And if I was working on like my third or fourth or fifth or sixth or whatever draft revision, I'd be concerned about that. I probably would step away, go, maybe not today. But this is my 1.5 because it doesn't even get a two. It's, it's like 1.5 if that. And so it's okay to have those issues now because I can go back through later when I'm in a different state of mind, when the writing's a little bit easier or whatever and I can tweak everything. So I guess what my advice to her would be is maybe it's boring now, but maybe you're just bored because you've been looking at it for so long. So maybe you need to step away from it or Maybe it truly is boring, I don't know, I haven't read it. <laughs> but, you know, what? even if you try not to, whatever's going on in you is going to show up on the paper. And, like, I mean, sometimes I do it in really stupid ways. Like, <laughs> the other day I was like, okay, this is what's gonna happen to my character. And then I got to the end of that and I was like, you know what, it would have been a lot easier if she had just done X instead. And so, uh, in the story, my character is like, hey, maybe this would be easier. I didn't even go back and write that, rewrite that. Like, maybe I'll go back and rewrite that later, but sometimes I pull crap like that because I'm like, yep, flaw. Anyway, I've rambled a lot. I'm gonna go get to work. Yay. Well, hello. I feel super close to the camera, but I don't want to move, and there is a bedside table in the way, so we're just gonna deal with it. Um, it's been a day. I worked only for four hours, which wasn't so bad. And then I went and got lunch and I wrote for almost two hours. Well, I mean, I think I was at the place for a total of two hours. I wrote a blog post while I was there too, but I got like 1400 words done, which was pretty impressive. I could have kept going too, but then I met up with my mom and her boyfriend and we went to the store and then we went thrifting because, um, well, they weren't looking for movies, but they got a lot of movies, but I was looking for uh, a weight bench because I just want one of those like flat weight benches for working out and stuff, and I'm willing to buy one new, but if I can get one cheaper and not new, 
used, that's the word, then I want that instead. So we looked around. I think we're going to go to the next town over, not tomorrow, but the next day, and hit up winners and stuff as well. Um, but if we can't find one, say, to Value Village or something, there is hair in my mouth, then we will, I'll just get one at a real store. So that's cool. But my tummy's feeling a bit blah. I am... Um, ate some food so that's probably good because i was super hungry and um i'm just gonna lay down for a bit digest my food watch a movie or something hopefully feel a little better and then the plan if i feel better is to go work out because <laughs> like i get my four days in i've done two we're halfway there but we want to make it four and i really like to just get them done early in the week so then i can chill a little bit as the week goes on plus I'm off Thursday Friday so like so I think we're going out of town on Thursday but like Friday I want to try to do a lot of writing and yeah, then I mean if I don't have to worry about working out it's great anyway um yeah I'm just gonna I hope I'm not getting sick no I'm not getting sick I refuse to get sick that's not a thing that's gonna happen anyway I'm gonna watch something back there and um I'll check in with you later we are sufficiently worked out i'm feeling pretty good i was feeling like crap like i was laying down in bed because my my tummy hurt and my side hurt and i was like is my side hurting because my tummy hurts or is my side hurting because i've been working out too much i don't know and i couldn't decide <laughs> i was like i was trying to stretch it and it wasn't making too much of a difference oh this is good um and when I got changed into my workout gear also, yeah, getting dinosaur. I, lo I love puns, especially when they have dinosaurs. And I No, I just love all puns and bad jokes. Anyway, um, when I was getting dressed, I was like, I really don't want to do this. Don't make me do this. But I feel so much better. Even like the first 10 minutes was terrible. But I feel so much better now. I'm glad I did it. Uh, so we're good. Maybe going to shower. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I should shower because I worked out yesterday and I didn't shower. You were just getting to know how gross I am. Honestly though, before I started working out, I shower like I shower like once a week. <laughs> so, you know, we have massively wrapped up how much I shower. Anyway, that was way too much information. I'm now going to grab my computer, which is still there, and I'm going to try to get my brain to do the thing. I'm going to try to finish my writing goal for the day. I actually, just slapping my leg, no worries. I actually realized that I haven't been writing a daily list for about a week now, and I think that's bad because my bed's not made. I mean, granted, I did lay in it. My laundry's still not put away. I folded it. I put away the socks, <laughs> but the rest of it's not put away. Nothing's hung. The only things I'm doing is writing and working out and feeding myself. Like, oh, I'm going to work. Like, those are the, like, my four, those are the four things I can do right now. So, even my blog, normally I try to be really good and I try to have one up the night before for the next day, but no, we've just been going off the cuff for the last couple days. Huh, <sighs> whatever. We'll figure it out. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I need to get my computer over here so I can start writing, and then I'm going to do some writing, and then we'll figure out where we go from there. Okay, so it is just after 10, and I have hit my word count for the day, which is awesome. I want to keep writing more, but I'm trying to be a responsible adult, and so I want to try to get to sleep kind of early, because last couple nights I have been pushing it, and that hasn't been super enjoyable so it means I have to end the vlog and I know I have like no clips today because I was just terrible at vlogging but it was just my tummy hurt and blah 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 excuses excuses I know but I still think it's a great day I want to keep going I'm in a good place with my story something clicked in that I was worried about how to introduce it I I had kind of previously been like this is a good place to introduce it and then looking where I wrote further down I was like oh that's actually where I introduced it but it works it's fine uh but it's really coming together very seamlessly which is quite nice I gotta sneeze
nope, I'm good. Um, so that's awesome, making lots of progress, ready to make more progress, but also need to sleep every once in a while. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I hope you'll be back tomorrow when we do more fun things like this. We're probably just going to write, honestly, writing. It's a thing. It's all I do. It's my life. Anyway, with that, I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night. <laughs>